In this video, I'll take you to one of America's top national parks, located in southeastern Utah. Its geological story has been millions of years in the making. It contains the largest concentration of sandstone arches on the planet. And today, we get a glimpse at the grandeur of Arches National Park. Five minutes north of Moab is the turnoff to the park. As you arrive at the entrance, don't miss the National Park sign for that special photo. The next sign that caught my attention was this one. One hour wait from this sign? Ouch! Arches National Park is so popular that it requires a timed entry reservation between April 1st and October 31st. I'll put a link in the description down below with the park's website so you can get the latest info. How are you? Good, how are you all today? Excellent, thank you. Okay, perfect. Okay, and then you got a park pass? Yes, ma'am. Yes, please. You want trail info as well or just the map? Just the map. All right, yeah. well, now, I'll, I'll take both. I'll take both. both. Okay, yeah. so make sure you show the green dot to the ranger up ahead. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, so none of that, that took about 35 minutes, uh, not an hour as the sign indicated. It's worth making the stop at the visitor center. They have plenty of exhibits and information on the park including a bookstore. Restrooms are also located here. After stretching my legs from the two-hour ride from Cortez, Colorado, I was eager to get started on the 17-mile loop that'll take us through the incredible roadside exhibits. Heading up the hill into the Arches National Park. And you can already see it looks uh, pretty breathtaking from right here. I forgot what the speed limit was through here. Probably 25, at least 25. Oh man, look at those rocks sitting right up there. As mentioned earlier, experts say we're looking at a geological story. Millions of years in the making where nature is the architect. Arches National Park is one of America's great and natural geological wonders, shaped and chiseled by erosion, rising to the vast desert sky like the ruins of another planet. Yeah, on this ride, we're gonna have a few stops. I wanna take you to a few places. There's one place I'm gonna to have to hike about a mile and a half up to show you. I'm very excited about that. Just five minutes into the park is our first stop, called Park Avenue, with its towering canyon walls, which reminded earlier visitors of the skyscrapers from the big cities. Man, look at that rock. It looks like it could tumble any day. And here's another look at the area with the help of Google Earth. Continuing on. Hey, 
haven't seen many arches yet, but they're coming. By the way, the park contains over 2,000 sandstone arches, the most anywhere on the planet. And I'm going to show you some of those, so stay with me. But now we're approaching the formations called the Courthouse Towers. Man, I just have to wonder at the powerful forces that created formations like this. And across the street from the Courthouse Towers, that's formations called the Three Gossips. And about 15 minutes into the park, we arrive at the formation called Balance Rock. Okay, the speeds have slowed down here. Yeah, there's a sign that says Balance Rock right there. It stands 125 feet above the ground, weighing in at over 3,500 tons. Next, I want to take you to the star attraction of Arches National Park, called the Delicate Arch. But if you want to see it up close, you would have to do a little walking. Motorcycle parking, all right. All right, so we're walking up the trail to uh, the Delicate Arch. And I want to show you this thing, it's pretty cool. By the way, it's about a mile and a half hike. So make sure you have the proper shoes and enough hydration. That's right, it's about a mile and a half up to Delicate Arch with an elevation gain of 550 feet. That's how far I've come so far. The bike's parked over there in that parking lot. And I still have that plus some to go. Plan on two or three hours for the trip up it's and back. Close. It's been a heck of a climb though. <clears throat> One that I was not totally prepared for. So let me encourage you, if you do come to the Arches National Park and you want to see the delicate arch, dress more like a hiker than a biker. <laughs> That's what I should have done. But we're almost there now, so. You know, we go to national parks because of their big, rugged mountains and crystal clear lakes. But the traits that make national parks so magical can also be hazardous if we don't treat them with respect. And hey, falls are in the top five reasons for injury and death at national parks. And this ledge, hey, it's no joke. If you get too close to it, there'll be a recovery mission, not a rescue mission. It's right around this corner. Oh, wow. Check that out. The delicate arch. Standing at around 60 feet tall, the delicate arch has become the symbol of the park, and it's said by many to be the most famous sandstone arch in the world. Its symbol is even on the Utah license plate. It has an allure that's hard to explain, but impossible to deny. And although it's been standing for thousands of years, like all the arches in the park, one day, after more of Mother Nature's elements at work, they will fall. The delicate arch, as you can see from this shot, is surrounded by uneven landscapes, so again, use caution when visiting it. This place is always changing. Water shapes it, knife-like winds whittle at it, and erosion constantly buffs it. Next, I want to take you to the window section of the park. Parking was a premium, but the thrilling beauty is considered by some to be the heartbeat of the park with formations like this one. Hey, right here behind me is the formation called the Double Arches, located here in the window section of the uh, National Park. So it's got two arches, obviously, and it's got three openings, as you can see, that's pretty cool. North, south, and turret windows, which you see in the distance, 
but I failed to get any footage of it. Here's what I missed. And here we visit the Garden of Eden, where you can get up close and walk among these towering geological structures. Here's the rock I was just taking shade in. Look how it's got a big crack. Like it's just all beginning to crack in the middle, see that? I wonder how long it's been like that. All the while seeing even more evidence of just how harsh this environment can be. And last but not least, if you make it the Devil's Garden, you'll find the Landscape Arch the longest arch in North America, stretching more than 300 feet long. Hey, that's longer than a football field. Well, I think we'll let you hop off here, but as you can tell, you could spend several days here in Arches National Park. Hey, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Until then, be well and stay safe.